I secretly took my boyfriend's dirty underpants to check the quality of his bare material. When my boyfriend Luke caught me at the crime scene, I lied and told him that I was doing the laundry. He didn't suspect a thing and was even happy about it. Whoa. We are taking our relationship to the next level. Cool. I planned on giving birth to a child from a perfect man. Fortunately, all his gametes were real champions. So the next step was to check his ancestry. I texted Luke to let him know that I was ready to meet his parents. When we arrived at his house, his mother welcomed me as a family member. His father, however, didn't even get up to say hello. Hmm? I felt like he didn't like me at all. Yet, it didn't bother me. I was checking them, not the other way around. Hmm. I asked Luke to give me a tour of his nursery and was inspired by his school grades and sports achievements. Which was why I added points to intelligence and physical health. Luke's good mood was spoiled by one innocent question. Did you get your love for sports from your father? Did he train you? Luke said that was a complicated topic. <gasps> and that we should go back downstairs. When we sat at the table, everything <gasps> fell into place. As it turned out, Luke's father was in a wheelchair. Oh no! What if it was hereditary? I ran to the bathroom to call my friend, asking her to call me as soon as possible and cry loudly on phone. So I would have an official reason to escape that dinner. However, my friend texted me. Stop testing your boyfriend, he's great! Upon realizing that Plan A had failed, I tried to find out more about Luke's father. But my boyfriend asked me not to talk about it. Well, okay, let's say goodbye then. I pretended that I had things to do, but Luke wouldn't let me go. All of a sudden, he got down on one knee and asked, Will you marry me? His parents clapped happily, but I asked him to give me time to think, even though I knew I wouldn't get anywhere with him. I left, but Luke caught up with me in the yard. His father insisted on giving me a ride. He's so how upset you were. That's how he is. One day he was quite emotional too. Got behind the wheel and lost control of the car. That's how I found out that Luke's dad had nothing hereditary. He lost the ability to walk after the accident. I felt relieved. And Luke got the last check mark on the checklist. When we arrived, I asked him to propose again. But Luke was in no hurry. Let's not rush it. I know that you need time. Maybe you want to start a career or get huh? to know yourself first. I didn't expect him to say that. What are you talking about? I didn't need time. In order to show it to Luke, I opened my secret box. My pills, beauty shots, and beauty products fell out of it. What is this? I told Luke the truth. How my body was getting old. Hair, nails, skin. Everything needed daily care. I knew I wasn't perfect. Which was why I found a perfect boyfriend. The best one I could have a child with. I thought it would be a compliment to him. But Luke gave me a stern look. He took the list and started writing something in it. As it turned out, 
He added his negative features. I will gladly propose to you again. But you should know that no one is perfect. There were several flaws that I considered unacceptable. However, we stayed together, <gasps> as none of us was perfect. We fought, but always managed to solve things. Thanks to his ability to listen and compromise. Those are qualities that cannot be tested in a laboratory. I am happy. And thanks to Luke, I realized that only someone you don't know can be perfect. My husband found a mistress to save our marriage. He said that routine was drowning us and that it was our only chance. Oh, and take my ring. You can give it back to me at home. I was planning to go home, open a bucket of ice cream and cry. But a stranger came to me with a proposal. Take this, and let me give you a ride. A thunderstorm is coming. I wasn't planning on using my right to cheat, so I wanted to refuse. Huh? However, I heard Brian's loud laugh coming from the restroom, and immediately changed my mind. I'm Lily. The crying girl who ruined your plans. And I, William. I was just going to the theater. To watch the Romeo and Juliet. Belly, my favorite. But I had no one to go with. Well, you have someone now. William turned out to be an interesting and pleasant man. I come down, and for a moment, I even forgot about Brian's betrayal. But none of that mattered, because when William got out of the car, I noticed that he was no taller than five and three feet. Compared to Brian, he looked like a real shorty. I imagined my husband laughing if he saw us together. I decided to reject him. Oh, I suddenly got a headache. It's better to take me home. Hmm? I prayed Brian hadn't gone home yet so he wouldn't see who gave me a ride. Luckily, the house was empty. I got the ice cream and was ready to stress eat. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. It was a courier with a bouquet of lilies from William. Brian came home in that exact moment. He saw the flowers, and his eyes started glowing in a weird way. Is he jealous? Hmm, interesting. He obviously didn't expect me to take advantage of our break. What's this? Did you find someone? You are fast. I was hoping that jealousy would make Brian jump to conclusions and say that taking a break was pointless. Huh? But he just brazenly grabbed half of my bouquet. I have a date with another girl in an hour. Don't wait up for me. Huh? In the note, William invited me to go out. And I decided to go just to make Brian jealous again. Hmm. 
I was planning on taking some romantic photos and post them on social media. Not only that, but William promised me a date away from the whole world. Just what I needed, so that no one would see us together. I don't know how he found out about the dream of mine, but the date was on a hot air balloon. <gasps> You're a very lightness flying. So this idea popped in my mind. I was delighted. I felt like we were on the same page. We laughed a lot. And took the most romantic pictures ever. Then, of course, I cropped William in every picture. So that no one noticed our difference in height. But he seemed to read my mind and frankly asked me. You didn't go to the ballet with me because of my height? I already had what I wanted from that date, so I was honest with him. Yes, your height doesn't make you manly enough for me. My answer caused William to laugh. <laughs> Appearance doesn't characterize a person. Their actions do. William said that his height didn't stop him from becoming a successful architect, designing huge skyscrapers. Plus, he married a long-legged beautiful model. But they ended up splitting because she was too shallow for him. William's self-confidence struck me and reminded me that I, on the other hand, didn't achieve my dream because of my height. I quit ballet because everyone said that I was too tall to dance. William knew what it was like to be told what's right for you and what isn't. But he proved to the world that you always have the final word. Don't listen to anyone. Only you decide if you should dance or not. Can be manipulated or not. Can love someone or not. Our date was perfect. In the end, I even forgot that William was shorter than me. But Brian's call brought me back to reality. He asked to get home as soon as possible. As it turned out, the balloon photos worked. Huh? And my husband said that our marriage crisis was over. Dump that guy. I'm done sowing my oats. It seemed that I got what I wanted. My husband and I were together again. Yet, I couldn't stop thinking about William. Why are you so sad? Your man is back home. Where's dinner? Where's the beer? Are you sick? In that moment, I realized why Brian had proposed to me, because it was highly convenient for him. And did what he wanted, not what I wanted. But I no longer wanted to live like that. Even though he was so handsome. Like a sign from above the doorbell rang. I opened it and saw the lilies. I wanted to thank you for our date. And remind you that it's never too late to be who you want to be.
instead of joy. Tears filled my eyes. I wasn't completely honest with you. I'm married. <gasps> there was a pause, <laughs> only interrupted by my husband's laughter. <laughs> Is that your date? A real man over. William asked for an explanation. But Brian didn't let me get a word in. Lily used you like a toy while we were on a break. Brian snatched my pointed shoes out of my hands and threw them at William's face. But our break is over, so take your trash and go away. Lily is busy. She's cooking dinner for her real man. Right, baby? I looked at my tall and athletic husband as if for the first time and realized that there was nothing masculine about him. No courage or dignity. Brian neglected me for years and came up with a marriage crisis as an excuse to cheat on me. But now I knew how a real man behaved. Brian, I want a break from our relationship, but forever. Goodbye. After the divorce, I started a relationship with William. Yes, he was shorter than me, but it didn't matter, because I felt like the happiest woman in the world next to him. It doesn't matter whether you're tall or short, your words and actions are the only measure of your worth. <laughs>